think somebody's peed on this strap before. Great. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the consequences of my very own actions. <laughs> so, planned on using the trailer here in a, I don't know, a day and a half. You know, that's fine. No big deal. Except, you know, I just bought this car here. You know, this one. This one here with uh, no rear axle in it. So, let me uh, link you in. You can watch a clip I recorded a week or so ago of uh, the day I bought this home, brought, bought this and brought this home, uh, so you can know a little bit of the story. But after that, I guess, meet me back here. I'm gonna need your help getting this thing off the trailer. <laughs> Crap. Well, we're in the truck. Uh, I guess we're heading down the road with the trailer. We're gonna grab us another car. Uh, this one unfortunately comes by way of a, a pretty bad accident uh, that happened to a fellow auto enthusiast. And um, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can save this car from the scrapper and hopefully uh, help out his family a little bit. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with this car, but I guess first step is Go get it on the trailer. Uh, I don't think it's got a motor in it, and I know it doesn't have a rear end in it, so ought to be fun. You never know where getting cars is going to take you. Sometimes it's in the middle of the woods. We'll figure it out. Not another sport coupe. Some tight quarters. No rear end. Winch. Snatch block trailer stuck in the woods. Ought to be good. Ought to be good. We're good. We're good. Are you a magician with cables? Uh, I can be. Look at that. This guy knows how to get a snatch for sure. This is probably more of a patience thing, too. I would have never done this. I would have just yanked shit. <laughs> Hold. Good. All right, well, so we uh with some serious. Uh, gotta thank Tim, because he was definitely the the mind behind the winching i would have broke something for sure anywho so we got our home and uh it's blue didn't uh didn't look it over very much while we we're uh out there so uh unfortunately I'm not going to be able to open the doors to get in there on this thing um but well it's uh it's it's a color but the paint is pretty freaking nice unfortunately I'm uh, definitely not trying to mess that up. The body, pretty straight little ride here. Um, well, hate the flares, but overall, pretty decent. So uh, I guess we'll have to pop the hood, see what's missing in there. And uh, well, you might obviously see it's, it's missing a rear end. <sighs> well, it's missing a 3TC as well. So we've got a white engine bay. Actually, haven't even looked. I haven't even looked to see what color this thing originally was. I don't know if I'll even be able to find it, really. But she was a uh, axle is S374. So we'll have to see what gear ratio that was. This was a 6.3 car. Paint is pretty nice. I just don't like the color. But looks like all of our operating systems are present in the vehicle, so throwing a 3TC in should just run again. 
uh, power steering box. That makes three of these that I've gotten with power steering. And this one's also an AC car. So this was a AC and power steering car. Pretty nice little rig, yeah. Looks like a good brake booster on it, or master on it. So theoretically, we'll be in the money. Um, I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna source parts from, uh, what all is missing, or what the plan for this car is. Obviously, we've already, uh, we've got plenty of TEs, and uh, you're probably tired of watching me uh, not do anything with them. So, um, I'm not sure how much of this is gonna see its way onto the channel, but here we are, we've got this, and <sighs> testing out this speaker. Maybe we'll have some clearer audio going forward on some of the videos. Uh, that's always been a complaint of mine. So, the car, it's, uh, it's blue. <sighs> All right, so, you know, we got this car we don't need, that's fine, you know. I've got a Toyota axle sitting right here. It's four lug and everything. Perfect. Only problem is, well, that's a leaf spring axle. And this is a four link car with a, it's got the lower four links in it and the bump stops, uh, but no upper four link. And um, well, yeah. So I don't exactly have a way to sit that in here, but we're darn sure going to try to figure one out um, on the trailer, no less. Ought to be fun. Ought to be real fun. So, uh, also, front wheels don't hold air, and well, they don't belong to me. So, we got to figure out a way to make this freaking thing roll. Yeet. Front tire secured. Got some rears already. This thing's barely strapped down, so I guess we'll undo the strap. I uh, don't have any tools. Super JDM. What do you jack from on this thing right now? <sighs> Fortunately, we got these beautiful USDM bumpers. Okay. Well, blocks. This thing got me wheezing. What is over beer? Just rebuilt our deck so we have a surprising amount of lumber which has been extremely nice oh okay guess we'll just keep jacking it up hey buddy it's hot huh yeah we have guests. He's being punished. He's gotta stay outside. Ah! He's a soft boy. He likes the air conditioning. Any day now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Where are we at? Oh yeah. This might work. Oh, come on. Come on. Fine. We'll use more. Ought to be extremely stable. Yeah. <sighs> Probably. So we hit the uh, jack stands up here in the front. Hopefully that'll stabilize it from weebling and wobbling side to side. Guess we'll let it down on my uh, sketchy board stacks. See how high that gets us. All right, give it the old, uh, that's going to fall on my head. So, we should probably get some more jack stands under there. Question is, where the heck do I put them? Oh yeah, that's the spot, right there. Oh, gotta hit that one with a hammer or something. Block of wood, nature's hammer. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that ain't going nowhere. We can probably tow like this. Oh look, my first mishap with uh, my new microphone setup. So, um, you know, here, uh, welcome to the circus. I'm probably explaining, you know, how cool and how smart I am and stuff. You know, just the usual. And then, uh, well, you know, throw this board because I'm strong. Watch me pull this axle. Man, what a freaking beefcake. Hey, uh, Miles, could you, uh, you know, do some mansplaining about that really cool axle? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a Toyota 7.5, you know, it's, it's out of a van, you know, that cool red one we had for the manual swap and stuff, but, like, you know, I'll probably use it for, like, other things someday, you know, maybe, but, like, for now, I guess we'll just, like, put it in here and stuff, and, like, it'll roll, yeah, cause, like, axle. <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh, no, oh God, help. Yum. Oh, hey, thought I lost you. I mean, I know, guys, it's kind of hot, but I'd actually consider today a pretty cool day. It's probably only in the low to mid 80s. Ain't no reason to be overheating out here. Come on, get it together. Stay hydrated. With water. Oh, you're doing it again, huh? Okay, well, um, see you when you wake up. What's that video game where you wake up and the train? You are finally awake. I think somebody's peed on this strap before. Great. Just took a freaking chunk out of my hand. Ow. That's fine. Whew. So, Here's what we got. I know. I wanted you guys to watch too, but you're too busy sleeping. Overheated. Mm, it's too hot. Anyway, so. We've got her jacked up in there. And then, uh, well, ever so vaguely lashed around the lower link bar. And then our strap goes all the way across to over here where we're lashed to this lower link bar. And on this side, I even have a new spring installed. Really high spring rate. Okay, and then around the pinion snout, oh, the strap goes up and into the car and then tied up there. I just don't see how this could possibly go wrong. Lower it down so the axle's resting on that. And then, uh, and then uh, and, uh, put some wheels on it and see just how badly this this goes. What could go wrong? Chill, chill, chill. All right. So, ha, no trunk floor. So, let's find out where does she go from here. Ha! You thought it was gonna run me over, didn't you? I actually hooked the winch up to it, but also. We have the little ramps. We're good. It rolls. That's a plus. It doesn't seem like it's too low. That's a plus. And, uh, I guess we just roll the trailer back up where it normally goes. We can kick this old girl right off the back. At least I hope. Yeah, well, I need you to know I'm not trying to run you over, but... Do got to back the trailer up, you know, right here, buddy. Fiddle. Guess he'll figure it out. We didn't hit the cat. I don't know if you can hear it. The Ford's got just a, it's got a mess of problems. It's got this high idle, low idle, high idle. It's searching all the time. Timing seems to jump all over the place. It'll just start spark knocking going down the highway and there's just nothing you can do about it. Um, my buddy John's theory is that the, uh, the timing chain stretched and I probably just need to pull back the distributor. Maybe I'll do that today. But uh, beyond that, probably needs a new idle air control valve. Apparently, these things are picky. You just gotta, gotta use Motorcraft stuff. Cause I bought a brand new one. And when I put that one on, no name, whatever, you know, cheapest. Uh, this thing 
just idled at 3000 RPM steady. So I just unplugged it and it ran just fine, but it was a dog. So somewhere between the TPS and the idle air control valve and the timing. She's having a rough go at it. So, anywho, I don't reckon I'm gonna put the ramps down and uh, might not even worry about stopping them. Cause you know, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? We'll just get up here and shove on it. Even the steering seems pointed the right direction. Now the rear toe seems a bit off. I, I don't know why. Well, the other rear wheel is definitely hitting the uh, eBay fender flare. I have to make some slight adjustments to ride height on that side. You guys take a chill pill. Oh, so much better. So much better. That needs a rear alignment. So, I think I have the straps in a way that are going to work. But here's the deal. Apparently, this whole time, I've been fighting this brake drum. Yep. Pretty sure it's just stuck on. And I can't roll anything because it's stuck on. Idiot. All right, <laughs> that ought to help. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is it rolls now. Yep. The bad news is, well, I was shuffling the trailer and I didn't really chalk the wheels that good because, well, where was it going to go? Well, well, turns out it's going to go right there. Oh, just sweet. We did it. Three years later. Jesus Christ. What a mess. What a stinking mess. How are we looking back there? Sounds terrible. You should stop. I think you broke a turn signal. Hey guys, um... Next time, look where you put the trailer hitch, man. Come on. Is it an amateur hour? Whoops. I take that off, but it's welded.
What's it take to park a Corolla, get it off the trailer with no wheels on it? Um, about the rest of your life.